Here is an alternative representation of the 40 activities, which is set out against the management levels. So appointment of the executive is carried out by corporate and program management. And appointment of the project manager is carried out by that project board member who is the executive. The project board also carry out authorise initiation, authorise the project, authorise a stage or exception plan, give ad hoc direction and authorise project closure. The project manager is responsible for or carries out all of the other activities of the project with the exception of team planning, acceptance of a work package, delivery of a work package and execution of a work package. If a team is sufficiently large that it has team managers, then the team manager accepts and delivers and may well also execute, but team members are the ones who execute work packages. I said in the previous video that the expression was a little naive. We will come back and discuss this in greater detail, but quite commonly, team plans are created when performing stage planning. And that's illustrated here, that when we do stage planning either here or stage planning here, it may well be that team planning, which is part of plan the next stage, occurs at that point in time, being conducted by team managers supported by team members. More on that later.